your dream garden presents fruit fly bacterocera cucurbitae all living organisms on this earth continuously struggle for their existence for their survival and reproduction insects depend on plants vegetables and fruits to complete their life cycle this fruit fly also depends on vegetables like ridge guard bitter guard bottle guard tindora and fruits like mango guava orange etc to complete its life cycle the bacterocera cucurbitae is also known as melon fly more than 40 species have been reported under the genus bacterocera from india among these bacterocera cucurbitae is a major one and has more than 80 host species in which yield losses range from 30 to 100 percent it is widely distributed throughout the temperate tropical and subtropical regions of the world During its development of the fruit fly, the larvae or maggots cause immense damage to vegetable and fruit crops. Let us discuss briefly on the life cycle and management of fruit fly. A detailed understanding of behavior of various stages of its life cycle gives us an idea to design various strategies for its management to protect our crops in integrated, eco-friendly manner. With the basic understanding, we can determine how a particular life stage affects the crop, when the pest is likely appear, by which control method a particular life stage is affected, how can we create unfavorable conditions for the pest. Like any other insect, the life cycle of fruit fly also consists of four stages eggs larva or maggot yopa and adult A brief description of the life cycle of fruit fly is The adult fly is small in size measuring 6 to 8 mm in length with a lifespan of 15 to 30 days. The head is maroon colored with yellow spots. It is seen mostly flying during morning and evening hours. Eggs are elliptical pure white in color measures 2 mm in length the female fly lays about 800 eggs in its lifetime the eggs hatch in 4 days to larvae larva measures 7.5 mm to 11.8 mm in length cylindrical in shape the mouth is curved with hooks the larval stage lasts 5 to 15 days Pupae are dark orange and grayish yellow in color. The pupa measures 5 to 6 mm long, takes 9 to 11 days to become an adult. The female adult fly penetrates its oocoster into soft or tender fruits and lays eggs below the exocarp. Adult female laying eggs under the skin of a host fruit. The larvae or maggots on hatching out from eggs feed on the soft tissue of the fruit for a period of 5 to 15 days.
the collective activity of maggots bacteria and fungi causes the fruit to rot internally and often affected fruit drops off from the plant it is an imaginary video clip for better understanding for viewers fully matured larvae leave the fruit and burrow into the soil to pupate after entering into the soil the larvae become inactive and enter into pupal stage which are oval in shape and light to dark brown in color after completion of pupal stage adult flies comes out of the soil and fly away control measures adaptable fruit fly management options are bagging of fruits field sanitation protein beds cure traps and soft insect sites bagging of fruits is one of the best option in minimizing the fruit fly infestation plucking and removal of damaged fruits and burning will go a long way in interrupting the life cycle of the fly spraying of a mixture of 25 grams of jaggery 2 ml of malathion in 1 liter of water on the wide and lower leaves of the plants in a garden the flies get attracted to smell of jaggery and feed upon it laced with insecticide and dye the waters of fermented toddy or jaggery and ripened fruits attracts fruit flies taking advantage of this we can trap the flies take a plastic bottle and make five holes at a height of 5 inches from the bottom as shown in the video clip pour water mixed with jaggery or toddy and add 5 to 6 drops of any contact insect side screw up the lid and hang the bottle close to the vegetable or fruit plants attracted flies are trapped in the bottle other fruit flies like drosophila also may be observed These leaves are coated with methyl eosinophil laced with a contact insecticide. Fruit flies get attracted by the smell to the trap and die because of the insecticide. As a result, fly numbers decrease, limiting the multiplication. In my terrace garden, I noticed many fruit flies feeding on something on asmum plants. From literature I learned that ashram plant produces eosinophil it is nothing but methyl eosinophil which is used in chemical traps then I found that if we spray some contact insecticide on ashram plants growing in the garden they will act as trap crops to manage the fruit fly Similarly If we put few drops of ashram leaf extract instead of jaggery in the plastic bottle the fruit flies will be attracted and die Follow the above set control measures for successful management of the fruit fly In this pest management over the restricted area such as a field level or crop level or village level should be done In situations where chemical control of fruit fly becomes necessary farmers have to spray soft insecticides with low residual toxicity
If you like this video, please click on the like button and share it to your friends. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks are due to Dr. Katti, Dr. S.R. Oleti and Dr. J.S. Prasad for sharing their ideas in making this video.